All right, guys, we are playing the reworked Mundo today on the live servers. Going to show you guys how strong this champion is right now. And at the same time, I'm going to show you guys how to play it. Uh, for the best runes, I would definitely always go for Grasp, uh, Demolish, Conditioning, Revitalize, and Approach Velocity and Magical Footwear. Now for the starter item, typically I would always recommend going for a Dorn Shield. Of course, it makes perfect sense. It's um, the best by far to go for. Uh, you could technically go for Dorn's Blade into really easy matchups. But then again, that's like something I would not advise. Now we're currently up against a um, Talon Top, which is honestly quite interesting. I would consider this matchup to be uh, to be, definitely to be favorable for us because um, while Talon does have a lot of burst damage, we're obviously going to outscale them. We're like a stat like a stat cha um, stat champion. Once we have our items, we're just gonna run them over quite easily. Now the matchup in itself is very straightforward. Every single time the Talon's going to come close, we want to obviously use our E on him. When he runs up to us, we can also counter that by dropping my Q as well. I'm just going to hold the wave here. There we go. We got my W now too. Now whenever we go into a trade with, um, with Talon... We want to immediately use our W as quickly as possible. There's a fight right here. Maybe I can help him out. Hopefully he's not going to die to this. He actually did. I don't want this guy to run away. So I'd rather just flash so he doesn't get to run with this uh, ability that goes over walls. If he runs this way, I'm going to beat him up. Wait. I guess Ganon already has him, hopefully. Nope, he didn't get him. It's fine though, I got a double buff. We've got one kill, unfortunately my jungler died, but whatever, it is what it is. Hmm. He's gonna go for that CS as well. The trick with Mundo is to constantly poke, your, poke out your opponent with your E. He's all the way back at full health, but it's because he also got revealable. We didn't really train him as much early. Only poke, which he ult healed back. Alright, we can now make our way go back to base. Let's take out this one before we go back. I think for my very first item, I think we're probably just going to rush armor as quickly as possible. Um... Specifically thinking about Beremble. It's not necessarily something that I always build against Talon, but in this case, in their team comp, it's really nice. Gives plenty of armor early. Specifically, that's what I'm building it for. Just for a tiny, tiny bit of gold, we get like 30 armor. We get the effect in it. And, um... We can build even more armor for the next item, which is going to be the Sunfire as well. Now we're just going to slow build the wave. Got to make sure to uh, build up the wave as big as possible into Talon. Maybe we can get a kill with this later. We'll see. I'm not going to lie though. Mundo, this rework... I think that this is going to become one of my favorite champions of, as for playing tanks. I feel like... I feel like this... like Oh, wow, I just missed like three. I feel like Mundo as a champion, now that it's be, being reworked and has this new passive and everything, I feel like this champion has potential. Like hard carry potential of being played right, of course. push up this one. Uh, their jungler is currently in mid lane. Nice. This Talon is going to do this a lot. Don't expect anything different. 
He's looking for like an all-in against us with the lethality he has. Ooh, nearly hit that one. Okay, we have to be very careful here because their Jonah could be top now. He's going to try to hit another one. As soon as we get the first item, which is going to be the Sunfire, um, this guy will not kill us ever again. It will not happen. He's going to do very, very little damage on us. Just give it some time. Uh, their jungler was mid lane again. The only reason to why Talon has been able to keep up so far is due to the fact that this guy has Ignite. And he's rushing Lethality as well, so... If we don't have that much armor yet, especially like HP, we don't have any HP yet. Uh, he can just straight up like all in us with Ignite and probably win very hard. So that's why he's winning like this right now. But I'm pretty certain like once we have armor, the lethality isn't going to do that much anymore for him. Hmm. I'm not going to go for the straight up all in against him. Because once again, if he turns around with the ult and ignite, it's going to be entirely different. Got him. Thank you very much. That was a nice gank to be honest. Now we push. Gonna push as hard as possible. But yeah, honestly guys, I am very, very happy with what they've done to Mundo. I'm very happy with this. I felt like Mundo was very outdated before. Like, he he was kind of decent in the past, you know, before the rework in certain metas. But uh, he's been... Uh, there's been plenty of problems with him. Plenty of those. I'm just going to go for another armor. I was actually going to go for, uh, for this, but obviously this is not going to help in the matchup, right? We don't... We don't really need this. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is just go for another art armor cloth. And we are going to build this one into steel caps. So currently we got Bremble, which gives armor. We've got two of those, which give armor. We got this, Bammy Cinder, which is just HP and wave clear. Mm, we're going to do a lot of damage right now. It's going to be a lot more fun. I'm just going to wave clear this. There we go. Okay, I want to start pushing this one because I want to look for uh, chances to roam in the game, actually. Talon seems to be roaming to mid lane. Hopefully we can get some plates with this. Lee Sin appears to be a bot. Actually, that's a support for a second. Wait, what? There's three people in bot so far. That's the first plate. Talon is back top again. My Qs are starting to do a lot of damage against them. I like it. Ooh, look at that damage. Fortunately, we're not hitting that one. I wonder what it would be like if we actually max my E instead of Q. This is something that I actually want to experiment with. Hmm. Gotta be careful. Because the genre could be here. Nice, we're getting another one. We need like 500 gold more and we can buy my next item. I'm just gonna hard push the next wave as well. I believe that he's going back right now. Sweet. Perfect. Oh, I, I would love to stay for another play, to be honest, but we have to be very careful about this Talon. 
I need like 130 gold more and we will have the uh, Sunfire Ages, which is going to make a huge difference. So if we stay for this one, hopefully it's going to allow us to push this in. This is where we got to be very careful because now he's looking for an all-in, right? He knows. This talent is very well aware of this moment. All right. We let Talon the way it is. We're going to go back now. We will buy the Sunfire Aegis. I think I'm going to TP to bot lane to clear out this Mr. Chun. I got this guy. Yep. I got my ultimate in case he would have to chase. But we don't really have to. Let's push up the next wave right now. Oh man, Mundo feels... Honestly, guys, I have to say it again. Because it's just the way it is. This new Mundo feels so much better than the Mundo in the past. Like, this Mundo is... I, I would say 10 times stronger right now. There's not, it's just so strong. See you later. Like he can't actually ult us because we have my my passive which stops him. Uh, let's actually go back here. Our next item is definitely going to be steel caps, and then we build Thormel afterwards. Um, I'm just going to go for a red trinket right now. Let's go back top. Ooh, Nocturne is making some progress. He is getting a lot of kills, though. Oh, he's building a Stride Breaker. Which, by the way, just in case you guys don't know, in the next patch coming, um, Stride Breaker is getting changed. And it will no longer dash. Like, the whole dash is getting removed. And instead, only the effect will apply now. The, which is the slow. It's not going to stay for long anymore. Uh, oh, hello there. Yeah, this guy has no... He can't do anything. He's got some jungle camps. Ooh, that's a blue buff as well, actually. Uh, we could take out this Talon. Look at this guy. He's gonna try. Good luck. This is my very first time actually using my ultimate in the entire game. I just realized that now. We've actually never had to use it. Push up the next wave right now and then we can go back again to buy the Thormil. Good. Let's get back. So, we are... Well, I, I suppose you could probably say that we're impossible to beat right now. Like, no one is going to kill us at this point anymore. We are huge. We are gigantic. Just imagine if Talon or Silas just... Uh, I mean, imagine if Talon or their jungler just jump on us now. He's going to do, like, no damage. Because I got Thor Mill right now. And Lee Sin. He can't do anything against us ever. Uh, I think I'm just going to take this blue buff. Oh, it's already taken. Uh, let's take a look. This guy does no damage. What are you going to do? I still have my W as well. You see this? I still have my ultimate, just so you know. And there he goes as well. Nice. Alright. Even the, the passive from Mundo itself, like the fact that you can heal so much, 
and run through stuns makes Mundo such a good tank. Especially for laying. Let's take some jungle camps as well. Just gonna farm up as many jungle camps as possible right now. Oh, we have someone here. Oh, okay. I think I'm probably dead right now. Yeah, I got ignited too. <laughs> oh, wow. I got the entire team on me here for a second. Even, um, I couldn't heal anything on my passive because I got ignited by Talon. Right? Which reduces my healing by a pretty fat, like, 60%, so... Kind of unfortunate, they have like two Ignites in their team, so they can both counter me very hard with the Ignite. But I think, they if they didn't have Ignite, it would have been very different, but whatever. Okay. So the next item we can buy, uh, we could go for Warmox, and what that does, it will allow us to get our healing back. You know, if you go for Warmox and you're not in combat, it's going to heal you back completely. Which I think we're probably going to build early this game because we're already like snowballing this extremely hard. Like usually what I tend to do when I play Mundo is go for Spirit Facade, just the third item. But since we're like already like 1v9ing the game, uh, I think it's better if we go for Warmox so we can stay at like full HP at all time. I think that will do like an, an excellent job here. Uh, let's go for Balan right now gonna head over there we have TP up so in case something's gonna start out we can help them out obviously nice Nocturne is doing some progress this game Push out the next wave right now. Uh, there's people coming bot lane, so we have to be very careful. This guy's not alone. Got my E maxed out now as well. I'll take this one. Hopefully, he's not going to steal it away from me. I feel like Mundo is definitely, uh, it definitely feels better to play Mundo now after playing her, uh, playing Mundo PBE. Like, I played Mundo the moment he was released on the PBE server. And I think he, he felt, he felt way different back then. Like, I think ever since they put Mundo on the live server, uh, a couple things changed. I feel like, I feel like he's more smooth now. It's either the ping, I guess, or it's just the champion in itself, I don't know. Oh, I got my whole team here with me. Good, let's push it out all the way. Nice. Let's see, we can force the turret. Hmm. Alright. They, they don't do any damage on me. They can fight us. We have Nocturne uh, mid pushing as well. Mm, could we stop these guys? I could, I'm just gonna run in. He doesn't have anything. Still have my ultimate. I'll use it late. Uh, this guy's over here. I have my Thormel, so they don't do any damage on me anyways. Alright. Perfect. I'm gonna throw an auto use my ultimate for this one. My Qs do so much damage. 
Wow. Uh, that guy kind of is in trouble. All right, let's get back. Hey, keep in consideration, guys, that we're playing a tank, right? We have no damage. We have literally built zero damage. And look at where we are right now. My Q's to like 300 damage per Q. Which is ridiculous. Alright, let's make our way back. We're gonna go for Warmogs. Our next item is definitely going to be Spirit Visage. So that our healing is gonna be a little better. Uh, let's go for... I just want to take the rep off for myself, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm the kind of man, like, if uh, if the rep off is up, I want to take the rep off, but I, uh, I'll i be a nice person. Uh, let's go for Balain. Miss Fortune is down there. Nice. I want to take this camp as well soon. My team should take the Baron at some point though. Mm -hmm. There's a jungle camp over here we can take. I'll take that, sure. Always take jungle camps guys. Best thing you can do in the game. If you were playing top lane and you're splitting, this is definitely your uh, one of the main priorities. Hey, that's a Mr. Tune over here. Nice ultimate. Nice one. Not working. I can just walk out. No problem. I'm gonna TP right behind them. We can. We're gonna get some kills. Or at least. We were going to get kills, but my teammates already killed them, so yeah, that's quite interesting. I think we can just walk mid lane and probably just end the game right here. Yup. Hello. That's my passive. Still have my ultimate. We haven't used that yet. Look at me. I'm on I'm, I'm pretty much impossible to beat. That's the best part. <laughs> Watch my health right now. Look, we're healing it back up right now from the uh from the warmox. This is why you should build warmox cuz you're just healing it back like instantly. Best thing in the world. Hello there, Talon. Let's go over to this camp here. We'll take that. Dragon's also up right now, which I'm very happy with. My team can take that one for free. We have the pressure, so that's not an issue. Push this up as well. Hopefully there's a rep off the which they haven't taken yet. Man, that knocked it is going like 1v3. Wow. Not gonna work. He doesn't overpower like three people. That will never work. All we need right now is a top turret and a bottom turret. Then we're good to go. Nice. Three drakes right now. Let's think it for the team. No problem. <laughs> I like how they're trying, but it doesn't work, my man. I got my ultimate ready. Look at me healing back up so fast. <laughs> Not even war marks. That was completely without war marks, actually. Oh, man. I like it. I like how they're trying so hard. Nice try. Look at look at this man, I'm a tank! I'm a tank! See ya later! 
I am literally playing a tank and I'm literally up against 1v3 and I'm just beating them like that. No problem. Uh, I could fight them again, to be honest. I can wait here because I think that Lee Sin's probably going to walk past here. He should be here somewhere. There's Talon over there, which I don't really care much about, to be honest. Whoa, what happened to our ultimate? Hmm. <laughs> I'm playing a tank, man. I'm literally walking in 1v4 and they can't even kill me. What? I'm literally just walking straight into them and I'm doing more damage than three people combined. And I'm just healing back faster than, than, than even taking damage. This is ridiculous, man. I'm, I'm telling you, like, this new Mundo is the best thing in the world. Like, he's already got nerfed multiple times on the PvE server for being so overpowered. But, like, as you can see, this, champ this champion is absolutely ridiculous, man. Like, this is definitely my most... This is my most favorite tank in the game right now. There's not a single tank that I like more than Mundo right now. I don't care about Malphite anymore and all these champions. I only care about Mundo right now. This thing is this thing is broken. Oh, your guys are not going to get me anyways. See you later. <laughs> oh man. Oh, so unfortunate. That that king got me eventually. But the best part is that they don't even have Chainsword yet. Which kind of surprises me. But uh, to break their dreams real fast, I have 4,000 gold. Which means that I can buy an entire item. And you guys can probably guess what that's going to be. Spirit Visage. So I can heal even faster. And our final item is going to be something even more fun. Which is going to be Randoans. And by buying all of these items together, I can 100% assure you that they're probably not going to beat me ever again this game right now. Because I'm going to heal back even faster. So the moment I spawn, I guess all we have to do is just push mid lane, take the drake, and then probably just end up the game. They can't beat me anymore. I could try to teleport. Wait, I'm, I'm going to try it out. All I need now is my team to group up as five. They will never win. Ever. I got 4,000 uh, 4, HP. Mm. Uh, nobody seems to be here. Well, hello, Talon. Hey, that's my passive right there. I'll, I'll pick it up real fast. And I'll heal it back with my war marks again. Look at this. Just healing it back casually. Not doing... You know, nothing nothing happening. Now, in case you guys like Wonder, guys, what, how much armor I have at the moment. It's only 263. It's not that much. It's mainly because we're building like HP instead of like going full armor. Oh, that Lee Sin is dead. I'll pick up my passive so I can get it back again. Oh, he's going in so hard. That's my passive. I'll hit, pick it up. <laughs> I have no... I still have my ultimate. That's the best part. So, we still have my ultimate. Let's uh, do it. Let's, let's run it now. Oh, man, guys. Honestly, Mundo is my favorite tank right now. There's not a single champion in the game. Then the, the, That's better than Mundo at the moment. In, in terms of, like, tanks. 
I'm pretty sure that Mundo is the champion that beats so many matchups right now. Like uh, a few specific ones like Darius, you can just walk through uh, grab. You can be champions like uh, Set, which has like only one stun because you can walk through it again. There's like so many champions out there where Mundo just shines so much more. It's just incredible, honestly. Anyways, for the damage, we've done the 39k damage as a tank, guys. We're building tank. We have no damage items, nothing. We have not a single longsword in the game. Nothing. No Doran's Blade, no longsword, nothing. And we have the most damage in the game, guys. As a full tank. Insane. Uh, anyways, for the runes, uh, this is what we've been using. Now, one more thing, guys, before this entire YouTube video ends. Uh, this game is being played live on stream, guys. If you want to see me play live, definitely make sure to check out the link below the YouTube video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.